Yo, what's up? I'd like to welcome you all to Tech or Alfheim if you're just now starting, or if you're discovering it for the first time because of this video, welcome. So, this is going to be an introduction video. I'm basically going to teach you how to do the start of everything. How, uh, when it comes to race selection and when it comes to after race selection. Just the very beginning of the server, so you can kind of know where to, like, uh, get your foothold in. You know what I mean? Uh, where you go after you start, because it can be kind of daunting with no real di starting directional path. But once you get once you get going, it gets a lot faster. It becomes a lot more easier to discover your like path. So when we first start out, we're gonna go to the spawn. This is what you're gonna see when you first spawn in. When you look down, you're gonna be probably overwhelmed by race choices. There's gonna be nine race choices. Uh, there are a lot that could go into a factor for choosing what race you choose. Uh, but the two key essentials that are going to want to be looked at uh, be besides everything else that could possibly go into it, like your friends in it, your favorite characters in it, or anything else, the two key essentials is your play style, what do you like, and your favorite color. Those, those are the two key essentials. Those, the, Your favorite color could be the deciding factor in of itself. Because technically, that could be all that you need. You could play anything. I could give... I, I'll, I'll give you an example. Undines are considered the sport race. You could go that and not even build up support. You select them purely because they're blue. You're going to be missing out on some racial spells later on, but that's fine. You could still build like a DPS if you wanted to actually play like a DPS. So deep down, really, your deciding factor could be just your favorite color. But there could be more to it. If you wanted to go playstyle and really heavily focus in on your playstyle, that could be important too. So, first off, we've got M. Imps are purple. They are the dark race, the dark fairies. They are DPS focused. They highly focus in DPS type magic or offensive magic. As I said earlier, Undines are support. They are the blue magic and they are water fairies. Everything they focus around is around water and they focus around healing. Kate Sith are yellow and they focus around nature magic. They have body augments like Cat or Kate. And they uh, more focus on the DPS aspect, but they focus more on nature. Puka, their color is gold, and they are the music fairies. Their element is music, and they focus heavily on buffing people. You know, you know that like umph you get when you uh, when you're listening to music. That's what they try to recreate that umph feeling. Uh, next, we have Leprechaun, which is white or gray and they are the blacksmithing fairies they really focus on blacksmithing and they're more of the dps side of supporting they they focus more on the dps but they're still support really like down in their fundamental core uh next is the salamander they are red and they are the fire fairies they focus heavily on that bam damage you know what i mean they are the, they are very offensive and highly damage output Next, we have Sylphs. Sylphs are wind, and they are green. They focus on fast and speed. They are also DPS variety. Next, we have Gnomes. Gnomes are earth and brown. They focus on crowd control and taking a lot of damage and surviving. They are the tanks. Spriggans are black, and they are illusionary. They have no DPS output, but they're heavily on illusion and treasure hunting. So if you want something that's more life skill based or you know that you like exploring and finding treasure, Spriggans are those, but they have no DPS output. Okay, so once you've selected your race, you're gonna get teleported to the tutorial. You have two options and it's slash spawn to get out of the tutorial, completely skip it or do the tutorial. The tutorial is a quest, there's a lot of text in it, but it highlights the key important parts. So what's important here is if you do it, which we can actually see someone doing it right now, um, it's going to highlight special commands that you're gonna, gonna really focus on, whether it be opening your spell list, opening rules, opening slash help, you know, get a list of all commands, stuff like that, that's gonna lead you down them all. Um, the, there's gonna be another part of the tutorial where it's gonna lead you up there and that, is going to be more of getting your foot in the door so like if you don't have 
uh, if you didn't like watch this video or anything, this will be able to teach you uh, where to get your foot in the door. After you do that, you're gonna type slash spawn and it's gonna teleport you to a spawn. The spawns are your capital. They are gonna be your main go-to place usually, especially for your own race. Uh, there you're gonna wanna navigate around, try to find everything uh, that you can, uh, like all of its nooks and crannies and stuff like that. And then you're eventually gonna find a store like this. Now what's important here is a store, this race store is gonna be the same for every race. It's gonna be beginner, beginner guide, iron sword, carry compass. I'll get into why the compass is important later. Once you find all the nooks and crannies, uh, you're gonna want to go out. Now, what's important about race selection, this is where the key feature comes to your race. Each race is its own unique thing and it's all player ran. What that means is you as a player is going to have an infect on your infect impact on your race. You're gonna be able to, your leader, if you decide to become leader, or if you already have a leader, you can help your leader. Uh, you can buy upgrades to your race, whether that be racial passives or shops. You can get racial passives, which will increase your DPS output or whatever, not DPS output, like whatever race your specialty is, that will be, you'll be able to get passives featured around your race. Or you can upgrade to get shops. Shops are super important because they can have certain materials that would normally be tedious to farm. Now you can buy it from a shop. For example, Spriggans bought the builder shop, which contains like wool, concrete, quartz, you know, really stuff that's annoying to build and, or get in large quantities, but it's necessary for building to, uh, you know, build cool things, especially when it comes to building your own home, which we don't have a housing system because we have an open world that you can build your house in, which we'll get to later. Actually, by later, I mean really soon. Um, but basically, you can work with your race leader and as a race to upgrade your race to become the most upgraded race, which will be in turn technically be the best race you know when you have all when you have the most upgrades you're technically better than the other races and that's really what the goal of the server is to be the best race so that being said once you've discovered all of the nooks and crannies of your spawn uh there are two options you have here go to the beginner town or the first town or you know whatever you want to call it it's the most beginner friendly town or go out and explore and find a place to call home now why this is important i always say Option B is the best because you don't have to go too far into option B before doing option A. What you do is you find a nice little nook that you want to call home. You find it. So you're going to do slash PS space get space 64. After that, you're going to get a protection stone like this, and you're just going to place it down. When you place it down, you're going to get this nice little... Uh, zone of protection for you after that you're going to do slash ps space set home and that'll set your ps home that's not the same as your slash home that is that is very special to your protection zone which will allow you to use your set home somewhere else after that you can just you know build a house get some chests get some place to store your goods and then we can go to option a option a was go to your beginner town now the beginner town is a multiracial so everybody can go there and what makes it so special uh, is, it, I mean, it it's a town, right? It's a hub. It has shops, shops that your race spawn doesn't have, and it has quests. That's the most important part here. Port, most part, most important part here, quests. Um, there are a lot of side quests and daily quests to do. There is no main quest inside Alfheim. However, that being said, if you have to label something as a main quest, I would label this one as the main quest this will this will lead you to a lot of dungeons and unlock two specific raids special to the storyline which will get you the what i would call best in slot gear now that being said there's still a lot of stuff to do once you start doing that quest and i would i would go and accept it once you finish building your home that way you can start working on it as you're doing it uh, because the beginning of the quest is going to be very long and tedious. So you're going to be doing that while you're building your home and setting up, you know, enchanting armor, getting all this nice stuff and stuff like that. 
daily quests like that are always going to be Monday tasks. That way you can log in and do them if you ever just don't feel like playing that day or something else. You know, maybe you're busy that day. You can only get on for like an hour. They're quick, mundane. That way you can just get them done. Careshire doesn't have a lot of them. I'll grant them that. Now, if you want to get here, how do you get here? That's probably your next question. In order to get here, there are multiple options. If your race has purchased the warp stone upgrade, you can just go buy a warp stone and teleport here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you if you don't have it, your next best option is to fly here. I'm gonna post my. I'm gonna just press F3, let you look at my coordinates like that, or you can ask someone in chat. That being said. Uh, you could also ask somebody in chat to teleport you here. There is no slash TP. There is none of that. But there is a party teleport. You can go into a party with someone and teleport to them. That's going to be the best way to get here. After that, I would recommend setting home for just a little bit. But you don't need to keep your set home here. As there is two towns, after all. As of the time of recording, there's probably be more later down. There will be more. More down the later, like, down the line. But once you get here and you start accepting quests, the most important quest besides that quest down there is going to be the quest over here. And it's going to be the same for the next town that we're going to show you. The next, this most important quest is going to be the Flight Master quest from Burn. Burn offers a unique quest that when complete gives you a spell to auto fly here. Auto flight is going to allow you, I mean, it's exactly as it sounds. You fly, it, it, you type in the spell, you, you, know, you cast the spell, and it'll shoot you up in the air and it shoots you in the location of the city. It's gonna take, the time, how long it takes is dependent on how far you are, obviously. Um, so you might, you know, cast the spell and go use the restroom or get a drink, you know, take a small break, because, I mean, it won't take enough to like take a long break, but you know, using the bathroom and getting a drink, probably you'll have enough time for that. After that, uh, you're, once you once you have that, you'll be able to move your set home a lot more freely. And there's going to be that option for every city. So that way you can keep your home, slash homes free. Uh, you do start out with only one, but you have options to upgrade it uh, elsewhere in the server. One of the next key feature places is going to be this ship over here. This ship contains compasses that will actually point you in the direction of key things dungeons the first dungeon second dungeon and third dungeon each going di more difficult as it goes down the line and this one will put you to cash air but if you're already here i mean i don't know if you, why you would need that but in case you want one and avalon the next city this will be the next place you're going to go in terms of uh cities to visit and it's going to be great when you're here you're going to go ahead and go accept the flight master quest which is right here and then your next most important quest you're going to take when you get here is Navi. Navi is going to give you a navigation quest that you are going to, uh, it's going to lead you around the town. It's going to show you all the important places and stuff like that. Uh, and then after the end of it, you're going to get an adventure license. Once you have that adventure's license, you'll actually be able to accept any other quest here. What's important about Avalon is there's a lot of dailies and a lot of weeklies. Other than those, there are two side quests that allow you to more specialize your character. The night quest, which will allow you to select a DPS or tank variety to more fine tune that, whether you want to be more tanky or more DPS oriented. And then another one over in the guild hall, which will allow you to focus more on, like if since there's no classes in this, there is magic to help that's themed around those type of classes to help support. So if you want to be more support, more tank, more fit, more DPS, uh, there are options over there to help more fine tune uh, your unique play style. Other than that, there isn't much else in terms of getting started. There's a lot more to, there's a lot more in the server, but in terms of getting your foothold, these are the key notes that are really going to help you get started. The biggest key notes being once you select your race, look around your spawn, get familiar with it, go find a place to call home, set your home there, and then go to your towns, start accepting quests and doing quests. The quests can seem daunting at first, but they start picking up and going a lot faster later on. Other than that, that is really how you get your foothold in the door and how you get started. I hope you like this uh, tutorial video. 
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're part of the server and catch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash monochrome, which you can see how to spell it on the top left there. Um, whenever I'm live and you're followed, you actually can get a chance to get Twitch coins inside the server, which will allow you to trade them for these nice little goodies here, like gemstones to augment your gear, magic, skin, cosmetic stuff, stuff like that. A lot of awesome, amazing stuff. So don't forget to catch me live, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.